Okay, and now we're going to continue our discussion of permutations as products of cycles with an example. Okay, here we go. Consider our previous example, the permutation 31254. This permutation can be written not only as the product of cycles 1, 3, 2, and 4, 5, but as the product of transpositions 2, 3, and 2, 1, and 4, 5. We will now verify that the product of cycles 1, 3, 2 times 4, 5 does in fact equal the product of transpositions 2, 3 times 2, 1 times 4, 5. Okay, here's the solution. We already know that the product of cycles 1, 3, 2 times 4, 5 yields the permutation 3, 1, 2, 5, 4. And if you don't, go ahead and pause the video and verify that fact right now. Okay, but consider the product of transpositions, 2, 3 times 2, 1 times 4, 5. 4, 5 maps 1 to 1 because 1 doesn't appear in the transposition. And the transposition 2, 1 then maps 1 to 2. Finally, 2, 3 maps 2 to 3. Okay, hence 2, 3 times 2, 1 times 4, 5 maps 1 to 3. Okay, so just to illustrate, we started with 1, got mapped to 1, which then got mapped to 3. Hence, 1 gets mapped to 3. Moving on. 4, 5 maps 2 to 2 because 2 doesn't appear in that transposition. The transposition 2, 1 then maps 2 to 1. Finally, 2, 3 maps 1 to 1. Hence, the product of transpositions 2, 3 times 2, 1 times 4, 5 maps 2 to 1. And note we started with 2. That got mapped to 2. Okay, which, or rather that got mapped to 1, excuse me and then 1 got mapped to 1, which then got mapped, well, and therefore, 2 got mapped to 1. Moving on. 4, 5 maps 3 to 3, because 3 doesn't appear in that transposition. 2, 1 then maps 3 to 3, because 3 doesn't appear in that one either. Finally, 2, 3 maps 3 to 2, hence the product of transpositions 2, 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, maps 3 to 2. Okay? So 3 goes to 2, and therefore 3 goes to 2. Okay, the transposition 4, 5 maps 4 to 5. The transposition 2, 1 then maps 5 to 5 because 5 doesn't appear in that transposition. Finally, the transposition 2, 3 maps 5 to 5 again because 5 doesn't appear in that transposition. Okay, hence 2, 3 times 2, 1 times 4, 5 maps 4 to 5. And just observe there. Okay, 4 goes to 5, which then goes to 5. And so therefore, 4 goes to 5. Finally, the transposition 4, 5 maps 5 to 4. Then 2, 1 maps 4 to 4 because 4 doesn't appear in that transposition. Finally, 2, 3 maps 4 to 4 because, again, 4 does not appear in that transposition. Hence, 2, 3 times 2, 1 times 4, 5 maps 5 to 4. And so you can see why 5 gets mapped to 4, which gets, maps to, which gets mapped to 4. And then, finally, we must conclude that 5 gets mapped to 4. And note that what we ended up with is the ordering 3, 1, 2, 5, 4, which is what we set out to show in the first place. Therefore, the product of cycles 1, 3, 2 times 4, 5 is actually equal to the product of transpositions 2, 3, 2, 1, 4, 5. And this is an example of our proposition number one near the top of the page.
that states that every cycle can be expressed as the product of one or more transpositions. So here we've represented, well, actually a product of cycles here as a product of transpositions. And next time we'll go ahead and prove the corollary uh, to proposition one that every permutation can be expressed as the product of one or more transpositions. Like I said, that's next time, so stay tuned.